the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 182, Isaiah 21-24 Warning about the fantastic valley Jerusalem. God's declaration of judgment to everyone without exception stressed that it was God that the people of South Judah should rely on. First point, Isaiah continued to speak about the fall of the surrounding countries near South Judah. The fall of the Babylonian Empire was prophesied to Isaiah again in chapter 13. The Bible referred to the Babylonian Empire as a desert by the sea. During the time, a proclamation that Babylon would fall was unthinkable. But not only was this proclaimed once but twice, God told this to Isaiah even before the fall of Assyria. And this truly showed that God's management of the world was by using such empires as his tools. Later on, we see that Babylon did indeed fall in 539 BC. In the hands of Cyrus II of Persia, as proclaimed by God. The reason Babylon fell was because Midi that had the casting boat at the time prayed a law in the fall of the Assyrian Empire this time, but then made an alliance with Elam to attack Babylon at a later stage. But Elam later came to be governed by Persia as well. The capital of Elam was Susan, and this place later became the geographical background of Esther. Now God proclaimed the judgment on Duma through Isaiah. Duma referred to the descendants of Edom. The Edomites lived in Seir and became a great nation. Due to their geographical location, they were able to prosper through trade. Whilst proclaiming judgment on Edom, Isaiah compared morning to night as morning came and night came, they would experience the darkness of night. He warned that although they would wait for the morning to come, they would soon face night again. After the prophecy on Babylon and Duma, God went on to proclaim judgment on Arabia. Second point, the prophecy about the valley of the vision was God's warning to Jerusalem. After proclaiming judgment on the surrounding countries of South Judah, God continued to give a prophecy about the valley of the vision as a warning. The valley of the vision here symbolized Jerusalem. This was therefore a warning against Jerusalem. The reason Jerusalem was to be punished by God was because they did not listen to God's warning or keep to his laws and only relied on help from other countries. Therefore, God rebuked the king of South Judah for being self-reliant. Although South Judah was once on the same boat as Assyria, now the tables had turned and Assyria came to attack Jerusalem. With this, Hezekiah was making plans to salvage the situation through political strategies. The reason Jerusalem was to be punished was because they refused to admit their faults and repent. Third point, God rebuked the early leaders of South Judah. This is what the Lord, the Lord Almighty says. Go, say to this steward, to Shebna, the palace administrator. Shebna was the palace administrator during the times of King Hezekiah. The next after Shebna was Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, and he became the next palace administrator. Both these people had an enormous amount of power and authority. When Senna Cherubim's soldiers seized Jerusalem, these two were sent outside the Jerusalem walls to pass on Hezekiah's message. 
God rebuked the sins of Shebuna and Eliakim through Isaiah. God rebuked Shebuna's lavish and luxurious lifestyle. He abused his powers in order to read a lavish lifestyle. Such a person was not suitable to be in a responsible position. God claimed that Shebuna was a disgrace to his master. God claimed that Eliakim would take over the place of Shebna, but God knew that Eliakim would not be much better. But Isaiah claimed that all things would happen on that day, which meant that the time had not yet come. Unfortunately, Eliakim also followed in the ways of Shebna, and so God proclaimed judgment on both of them. Fourth point. God proclaimed the fall of Tyre. Now, God proclaimed the judgment on Tyre. Tyre was located on an island, and they believed that they were geographically secure and safe. From living in the sea, the people of Tyre knew a lot about trade through sea. They believed themselves to be kings of the sea and were very arrogant. God's judgment on Tyre was fulfilled after the reign of Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. Much like South Judah, Tyre also had a difficult time for 70 years and then became completely destroyed by Alexander of the Hellenistic Empire. When Tyre became restored with the help of the Persian Empire, they provided some aid to the Jews, who were also hard at work for restoration. But when they sold and traded, even during Sabbath, Nehemiah rebuked them. The reason Tyre fell completely in the hands of the Hellenistic Empire was because of their arrogance. Tyre believed that they controlled the sea, but there was something they did not know. They were not the ones to govern the sea, but the sea was protecting them from danger. Even if they had the skills to make boats, and to fight on water, if the sea did not cooperate, then all their efforts would have equated to nothing. They did not know that all their abundance could be taken away from them in one short moment. They did not know that their world was managed by God. Fifth point, no country, including South Judah, can be excused from God's judgment. God now came to his conclusion regarding the countries and their punishment. No country could be excused from God's judgment. No matter who you are or where you are from, no one can escape God's trial. But even in God's trial, there were those who remained. During God's trial, all the wicked would perish. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person he created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.